everyone. I am so excited to be making my first YouTube video on my own. Some of you might know me from my videos with Sebastian, who I've been making videos with since 2017, or my videos with Demi Rowling, who I've been making videos with just a couple weeks ago. Um, I had such a fun time filming with both of those fragrance reviewers that I figured it was the time to start my own channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ashley. I'm classically trained in perfumery. I got my master's at Isipka, which is a school that specializes in fragrance chemistry. And now I'm an apprentice perfumer at a large fragrance company. So for my first video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my all-time favorite fall fragrances. And so let's just jump right into it. Um, there's no particular order except the one at the very end is probably my all-time favorite fall fragrance, so it's worth staying to the end for. Um, so Almoz Jubilation 25, if four men, is what's going to start us off. This fragrance starts with a blackberry note that rests throughout but is so, so good, and then it's drenched in honey. And what I like about it is you don't really get to wear a lot of fruity fragrances in falls. You normally get your spices and your vanillas and your gourmands, which are my favorites, so I'm not mad about it. But every once in a while, I want to go back to fruity. And this is the perfect fragrance to do it with. What's also amazing about this fragrance is the projection is insane. It's one of my most projecting fragrances. I'm someone that likes a little bit more moderate wear, um, and so I actually spray it on my finger and then like put it on my neck and put it on my chest, and I still feel like I get a good solid meter just from that. So from a full spray, people will definitely be able to smell you even under like a big heavy coat, which is great. Um, next on my list is Cher Guy by Serge Lutens, which to me is my most complex and refined fall scent. This scent is truly a masterpiece. There's all these different layers of hay and tobacco and spice. And I think if you're a fragrance newbie, that might seem scary. It was actually one of the first fragrances I smelled when kind of going down this rabbit hole. And it was not a love at first sniff. I was like, there is a lot here. But I spent some time with it, and after a week, I was in love. This is a fragrance that engages you. There's always different parts of it popping up. Sometimes you get the hay, sometimes you get the tobacco. But all the accords within it are so masterfully blended, beautifully done, and it really kind of, it, interacts with you like throughout the day I kind of feel like I'm playing a game with it I'm just like ooh, what part of Shergi is coming up at me now and I find it such a pleasure to wear speaking of pleasures next on my list is unknown pleasures by kerosene and for fall this is my most compliment getting scent it is insane how many compliments I get off of this fragrance um, and you, I discovered it when I was working at Tiger Lily Perfumery in San Francisco, which is a niche perfumery there that I worked at throughout university. Um, and that was the fragrance that people would always ask me what I was wearing. It also has really, really good projection, perhaps not on the same level as Amouage 25, but that really is a beast fragrance. This is still something that with one spray, people will be able to smell you, and it's such kind of um, reminiscent of childhood. It's a fragrance that has waffle cone at the front, and then it has a lemon accord as well, and they work really, really beautifully together. So there's something very delicious about it. The storytelling behind this fragrance is, you know, it's a foggy day, you have a waffle, a warm waffle or waffle cone in one hand, and a cup of Earl Grey with lemon in the other. And that is very much the smell of this fragrance, the two coming together really beautifully. It seems like it was intended for cold weather and it does perform spectacularly in it. Um, my next favorite fragrance for fall is Ambre de Merveille by Hermes and this is a scent where it's not that your perfume smells good, it's that you smell good because there's a salty facet that accompanies the amber that melds with your skin, like kind of a salty skin smell and it does it incredibly so and it really just becomes a part of you, a part of your essence or your aura. And there are definitely days where, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a fragrance. I don't want to have to think about my fragrance all day. It really just depends on my mood. Sometimes I want that, and when I want that, I wear Cher Guy. When I don't wear that, I wear Ambre de Merveille, and it does a spectacular job with that. 
And last, but certainly not least, is a fragrance that I have worn the past four falls and it's still been my go-to, um, and that is Eau Duel by Diptyque. It's a vanilla that's accompanied by Carm... Ooh. <laughs> a vanilla that's accompanied by cardamom. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Um, but the way that this fragrance develops is really interesting because the way it reaches my nose, as silly as that might sound, really reminds me of the way a cup of tea evaporates. And so there really is just like a dance between the vanilla and the cardamom and the spices that is very pleasant to the senses. It wears not super close to the skin. I mean, like I'm, it's what I'm wearing right now and I can smell it as I'm talking to you guys, but I would say the aura of scent is just immediately around me. Someone could definitely smell me if they hugged or here in France, we do the bees, um, which is like the kiss kiss. Um, but I find that in COVID times, I don't get as many compliments on it because less people can smell me. I wear the EDT version, probably with the EDP version, it does have more projection. So if that's something that you're, is really important to you, it's not so important to me, you might want to try the EDP instead. Um, but yeah, it's such a great fragrance and I'm just so drawn to it and I find it so addictive because it's it's my go-to, like I'm literally addicted to it. So I would love to hear what your favorite fall fragrances are. Please comment below with them. Subscribe if you liked this video. I'm gonna try and put out a video about every week. And follow me on Instagram at Ashley in Paris. All right guys, have a lovely day.